The road to the Paralympics is paved with perseverance and challenges. But for Valentina Petrillo, the journey has been more than just a race against time. It's a race against expectations and controversy. As the Paralympics' first transgender track athlete, her participation has sparked debates, drawn support, and faced backlash. But with her eyes set on history, did she succeed in her quest for gold, or has the pressure proved too much? Let's dive into the story of Valentina Petrillo and her groundbreaking appearance at Paris 2024. Valentina Petrillo's name is etched in the history books as the first transgender athlete to compete on the track at the Paralympic Games. At 51 years old, this Italian sprinter is no stranger to competition. As a father of two who once dominated in the men's category, Petrillo has now transitioned and is making headlines for her presence in the women's 400-meter T12 category at the Paris 2024 Paralympics. But with success comes scrutiny, and Petrillo's journey to the Games has been anything but smooth. Despite setting a new personal best of 57.58 seconds in the semifinals, Petrillo fell short of making the final cut. Iran's Ajar Safrazada Gadarajani claimed the top spot in Petrillo's heat with a time of 56.07 seconds, securing her place in the final. While Petrillo's performance was commendable, it wasn't enough to advance further. The controversy surrounding Petrillo's participation, however, has cast a shadow over her achievement. Competing as a visually impaired athlete in the T12 category, Petrillo did not require a guide, unlike some of her competitors. Yet, what has fueled the debate is not her visual impairment, but her history as a male athlete. Critics, including German Paralympian Katrin müller rotgard have expressed concerns over whether Petrillo's past training and experience as a male athlete give her an advantage over cisgender women. müller rotgard voiced her apprehension, saying, Everyone should live the way they feel comfortable, but in competitive sports, the physical differences can create an uneven playing field. The backlash didn't stop there. Madrid-based lawyer Irene Aguiar raised concerns about the fairness of Petrillo's participation, pointing out that her involvement led to the exclusion of Spanish sprinter Milani Burgess from qualifying for the Paralympics. Aguiar argued that this has deprived another deserving female athlete of a chance to compete in Paris, calling the situation unfair. Yet, Petrillo remains undeterred. In interviews leading up to the Games, she emphasized her right to express herself in her true gender, arguing that inclusion is key to happiness and fulfillment in life. She acknowledged the challenges but focused on the opportunity to race on the iconic Paralympic track in front of an international audience, calling it the culmination of three years of hard work and dedication. While Valentina Petrillo may not have reached the final of the 400 MT12, her presence alone has made a powerful statement. The debate over transgender athletes in sports is far from over, but Petrillo's participation is a significant moment in that ongoing conversation. Valentina Petrillo's story is one of courage, determination, and the pursuit of happiness, despite the controversy that surrounds her. Whether you see her as a trailblazer or as part of a larger debate, her impact on the Paralympic Games will be remembered. As we continue to navigate the complexities of gender in sports, one thing is clear. Stories like Valentina's are challenging us to rethink what it means to compete and to be included. Thank you for joining us on the Fame Journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into the stories that are shaping the world of sports and entertainment. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Should transgender athletes be allowed to compete in their chosen categories, or are changes needed to ensure fairness? We'll see you next time, as we continue to explore the highs, lows, and everything in between on this incredible journey to fame.